William Jackson III has not played in a game in the past couple of weeks or so. And since that point, the Washington Commanders have been winning. Now, I'm not going to say that the Washington Commanders have been winning because they have benched William Jackson III, but I am going to say that I believe that the secondary, for the most part, has played much better since William Jackson III has been benched. And because of that, I think now that we should start talking about, or continuing to talk about, uh, trade options for William Jackson III, and Jeremy Brenner from uh, SI had an article that I stumbled across uh, this morning uh, talking about maybe the Falcons um, being trade partners for William Jackson III. Um, you know, he goes on to say that the uh, NFL trade deadline is just one week away, um, and the Atlanta Falcons are definitely in need of somebody in the secondary. Uh, they surrendered nearly 500 yards <laughs> in the air on Sunday. Wow. Well, you know, I I will say this. If a lot of those yards, I didn't watch the game, obviously, but if a lot of those yards were, uh, you know, if the secondary was in man, then putting William Jackson a third in, I I mean, I don't, I don't know. Or it, it, I get mixed up all the time. Um, it seems like either William Jackson III could not play well in zone. Maybe that's what it was. I think that's what it was. William Jackson III was not playing really well in zone. So I would say that if uh, the Falcons were giving up that many yards and they were playing zone coverage. Uh, anyway, anyway. I'm still waking up, folks, uh, and and I'm still deaf because I went to an Iron Maiden concert last night, okay? So, uh, bear with me. (laughs) Anyway, um, so that being said, uh, one of their their main um, uh, stars in secondary, uh, Casey Hayward, he suffered a a shoulder injury last week uh, that led him on injured reserve, and he's probably going to be out for at least three games, if not more, and so... um, and they also had a cornerback AJ uh, Terrell who re-aggravated his hamstring injury uh, that he suffered in week six. Um, had a safety who suffered a concussion, so they're pretty beat up in the secondary. And I would definitely say that if the Atlanta Falcons need a corner, and it sounds like they need somebody in, in the secondary pretty badly, this would be a great spot for William Jackson to go to, and I think this would probably make a lot of sense for both Jackson and for the Washington Commanders. If the Commanders could get a good draft pick from, you know, for him, maybe one that they would get back from the, the, um, the trade with Carson Wentz, uh, then the Carson Wentz trade suddenly looks like, it didn't really hurt us that much at all, right? So, if uh, I would definitely say if the Atlanta Falcons are willing to to play ball with us and willing to do a trade, I think you straight up you, you trade William Jackson the third for some picks for next year, and you load up on picks. Um, I think we're fine without William Jackson the third. Um, we have a pretty decent secondary without him. They've played really well. Uh, Wild Goose. Um, he has. I thought he is. He has played really well. Um, yeah, I mean, he's going to get burnt every now and then, but that comes from experience. But I, I think he's played well, and uh, I think he's going to continue to play well. I think Benjamin St. Juice has played really well out there on, on the end. So um, I see no reason to put William Jackson the third back in at all. So I would definitely say you put him on a bus to Atlanta, send him down there, we'll get a draft pick or two, and call it a day. So that that's what I'm thinking uh, we should do with William Jackson III. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, do you think I'm crazy? I mean, obviously, it does us no good to have William Jackson III on the bench, and we're paying him all this money. You know, get him out from under Washington, you know, uh, let the... Let the Falcons take over his contract. You know, let's just 
move him on, I think it would be best for him, and I think it would be best for the commanders as well. Um, so if you enjoy this video, please give it a like, give it a share with your buddies. Um, leave me a comment. Um, these, these videos have been struggling. Maybe I've been struggling as well. Um, I did have COVID last week, so, um, you know, I didn't put out as many videos and of course I'm still kind of foggy. So maybe my videos are just born to you. I understand. Uh, but my videos are not getting pushed at all. Um, and who knows, maybe I don't continue on with the channel. Who knows? Anyway, um, if you want to continue seeing more from the Washington Football Maniacs, please support me. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.